Tiloc, you can upload new tiles very simply, one by one or in bulk, directly on the website. If you are a brand or you want to insert some products of a brand that you work with, you can also simply send the material to us and we will add all your products for free. Simply write us uh, at this email, contact at tiloc.com, if you want uh, more information on this. So in this video, uh, we'll see how to upload new tiles uh, one by one and the function uh, to clone products uh, in order to make the process quicker. In the next video, we will then see how we can upload multiple tiles in bulk. Okay, so before we start, let's make sure to have all the images in the correct format. Images must be in JPEG or PNG format. Uh, they should be images of the single tile, uh, so not entire uh, scenes or panels. Uh, the photographs need to be uh, perfectly straight and should not contain any uh, margins or borders. So uh, this is just to recap, these images are not okay, well this will work fine. And also, if possible, uh, the image shouldn't contain any reflections like this, uh, but be uh, simply plain with color. Since uh, all reflection will be then elaborated uh, in the design software while doing uh, a rendering. It's also possible uh, for some products like uh, mosaics, for example, uh, to upload images in PNG format uh, where all the uh, spaces between the pieces of the mosaic uh, are left transparent, uh, like in this case. Uh, so in this way, when we are designing with the app, uh, we can change the color of the grout uh, between these mosaic pieces. Uh, it's also possible to upload uh, tiles with an irregular shape or non-rectangular, uh, for example, images like these. Uh, hexagons, pentagons, triangles, and so on. Uh, and we'll see later in this video how we can then upload these kinds of products. Okay, so to start, we click on New Tile uh, to open uh, this form. So in the first step, uh, we can first of all choose a producer and a collection uh, for the product. So by default, the producer is set to be uh, Tile Lock and the collection is generic tiles. Uh, but if we want to indicate a real brand uh, and a product collection or series, then we simply need to click here to see the full list of brands uh, available on Tileok. And I can also write the name of a brand, for example, Marazzi. And then uh, I can browse the list of collection available for this producer. Uh, just a quick note about brands that are already present uh, on Tilelock. If you don't represent uh, the brand that you are inserting, then all products that you um, upload will be marked as not verified. And they can also be uh, removed or changed by the brand itself if they uh, require to do so. Uh, and this is reported in Tilelock's terms and conditions. Uh, if you don't find the brand uh, that you need, um, you can then uh, select this button, New Producer, to add uh, a new producer to the system. And the same thing uh, for the collections here below. Uh, so further down uh, in the form, we can indicate uh, all other generic information about the product. So the code, the name, the type. So now we're just going to complete this data with some test information and then continue on to the next step. At this point, we can add one or more images of the product. Uh, so in case, for example, we are uploading a wood effect tile, uh, just for example, uh, we can upload uh, all the different variations of the tile in order to obtain a much more realistic effect in our renders uh, by placing automatically all those images uh, in random. So uh, we simply need to choose uh, more images together and then drag them onto the web page inside uh, this rectangle to start uh, to upload all the images. Uh, in this uh, second step uh, below, we can also um, upload uh, the so-called bump images. These are for uh, the rendering experts. Uh, these uh, kind of images uh, are needed to map 
the reflections and the displacement on the tower surface. And usually these images are in black and white, uh, as this example that you see here. Uh, but don't worry, if you don't have uh, those kind of uh, images, we can still continue on to the next step. So we'll click on uh, Next. In this uh, third step, uh, we uh, define the sizes of our tile. Uh, so the sizes must correspond uh, to the image that we are uh, uploading. So, for example, uh, if the image, uh, in our case, uh, is... Uh, horizontal, uh, an horizontal rectangle, then uh, the longest side uh, will be uh, the width. So we will write uh, the measure in centimeters in this case, or if you prefer, you can choose uh, to write the sizes in inches here below. In case we are uh, uploading a non rectangular tile, uh, we uh, can then choose this symbol where it says other. Uh, this is another tile. Uh, you can see this is uh, a non-rectangular shape. So in this case, in the sizes, uh, height and width, we will indicate uh, the full size of the containing rectangle of this uh, tile. Uh, while here below, we can add, uh, we can actually draw the, uh, the tile. So we click on add node to add a new point that we can drag in this space here. And by continuing to add uh, new points and dragging them, we can define the exact shape of the tile product. So going back to our rectangular tile, uh, we can now go in the fourth step, materials. Uh, this is where we can choose the material of our tile by selecting one from the list. And then here below, uh, we have uh, two sliders to define the level of reflection and roughness uh, of the tile surface. So the first slider, uh, reflectance, is um, a value that defines how much uh, light is reflected by the tile. So for example, a medium value for a ceramic tile could be 20%. Uh, the roughness instead is uh, the level of blurriness of the reflection. So uh, the higher and a higher value will indicate a very uh, blurry uh, reflection on the surface of the tile, uh, while zero uh, percent and lower values will be uh, much more similar uh, to a very non-blurred reflection, like uh, a mirror. Uh, okay, so for uh, a tile, ceramic tile, we can keep a medium value of fifty percent in this case. Uh, we can also uh, change these settings later while we are designing in the program so it's not necessary that we decide uh, on these values here uh, at this time okay so let's go to the final step uh, in this last uh, step we can uh, insert the data to use for calculating the quantities and prices uh, of our tiles when we are designing so we can add uh, the square meters per box uh, we can add pieces per box, uh, the unit price, and so uh, also the currency. Uh, so when we complete uh, a new project uh, using this uh, product, uh, the total quantity for the construction will be calculated based on this information. So now we can uh, finish uh, by clicking here. Okay, so you can see now that we are uh, on My Tiles and we are in a section that's called Pending Approval. All products uploaded on Tilelock before being published and visible by everyone. They are verified and approved by uh, our administrators. Uh, this is to make sure that they are real products that can be uh, actually used inside of the application. So while we wait uh, for the approval, we can still view this product ourselves and uh, also we can download it inside of the design software. Uh, then approval usually takes one uh, or maximum two working days. So now we can open this product to view it uh, in its web page. Uh, since we have uploaded uh, this product ourselves, um, we will find these buttons here below, which we uh, usually don't see. Uh, so these are edit, clone and uh, delete. Uh, when we click on edit, we can 
change all the data of the tile, so what we just saw uh, in the form previously, uh, and then uh, save if we need to make uh, any change. On the top right in this page, we can also change uh, the visibility of this product. Uh, so now uh, this product is published, which means uh, that everyone can view it and everyone can use it in their designs. Uh, if I want to change this, I can change to private, and this will mean that only I will be able to view and use this product uh, in my work. So let's go back and uh, this uh, second button, clone, this is a very interesting function. Uh, by clicking here, we can make uh, a duplicate of this uh, tile. And this is a very useful, uh, for example, when we need to upload more products in the same series. For example, uh, in this uh, series of products, uh, most of the information uh, between all these different products will be exactly the same. Uh, apart from uh, the image, uh, the code, and the product name. So in this case, uh, to make things much more uh, quicker, uh, faster, we can click on clone, and this will open a new form, but in this time, uh, all the data will be already compiled exactly the same as in the previous uh, tab. Uh, so I will just need to drag new images inside of the rectangle here, and then maybe change uh, some of the information, code, name, or anything else that I wish. Okay, so once uh, I'm done, I can click on Save, and uh, in this way, I've created a new tile in just uh, a few seconds. And I can repeat this process in order to upload many new products very quickly. Okay, so in this video, we've seen how to upload uh, new tiles one by one and how to clone them. In the next video, we will see how we can upload instead multiple tiles in bulk thanks to our uh, simple import process. Uh, so that's all for this video. If you have any uh, comments, questions or suggestions, please write uh, by simply going to our contact us page here on the top right or uh, directly by email uh, at contact at So thanks for watching and enjoy designing with Tyler.